Hello and welcome to a special edition of VPN Test Drive, brought to you by VPNTop10.com. Today we're going to be looking at throttling. Uh, we're going to discuss what it is and what it is that you can do about it. So what exactly is bandwidth throttling? So you subscribe to an internet provider, maybe it's a cable company, maybe it's Verizon, Fios, whatever, uh, and you pay X amount of dollars for X amount of bandwidth. And basically that means that the maximum download speed you're going to get is whatever you pay for. So say it's 20 megs per second is the speed of your connection. That's the maximum speed you can download at. But what you don't realize is that your internet provider, your internet providers does not give all the activities you do online equal access to this 20 meg megs per second bandwidth. Some of them, and usually it's the ones that use up a lot of speed, are actually given less access to this bandwidth. So maybe instead of getting the full 20 megs, it's only gonna get five or six megs. And the uh, commonly throttled things are gonna be like Netflix or YouTube or file sharing uh, or like Skype, Hulu. If you ever go on, on YouTube and you just wonder why your video just keeps buffering, you can't watch an HD, it makes you wanna rip your hair out. That's because your internet provider is throttling the, the ports uh, that YouTube traffic is sent over and limiting you to just a fraction of your uh, normally allocated bandwidth. Uh, so here's a quick explanation of how throttling works. And uh, this is actually an article I just posted on my website and uh, I'll provide the link in the, the show notes uh, so you can go check it out and read the full. It's pretty long and pretty detailed, it's good. Uh, but basically, how throttling works is your internet provider is going to separate your traffic. So they identify what each protocol or each website you're visiting, uh, what port the data is being transmitted on, and then they can decide whether they want to let it through the full speed tunnel where you get your uh, the full bandwidth allotment, or if they're going to send it, they're going to bounce it off the filter and send it through the throttle tunnel. So you can see the opening here is smaller. That just means you're going to get slower speeds. So maybe this is the 15 meg per second tunnel, and this you know you can only get five megs per second. That's why your YouTube or your Netflix or your BitTorrent might be uh, experiencing slower speed than you expect uh, because it's going through this slower tunnel before it reaches the internet. Okay, so now you've identified the fact that you're being throttled. So now what? I mean, you don't have that many options when it comes to internet service. What can I do? They have all the power. Well, there's actually one really easy fix for throttling. It's called a VPN or a virtual private network. Basically, what this does uh, is it wraps all your data that's being transmitted, including the data that goes through your internet provider, uh, into a secure encrypted tunnel so nobody can read the traffic. Uh, and the way that your internet provider throttles the traffic requires them to be able to separate the high bandwidth or the undesirable traffic from the normal traffic. If they can't separate your traffic, they can't throttle specific parts of it. And with the VPN, they cannot separate or even read your traffic. They can't see what websites you're visiting. They can't see what you're downloading. They can't see if you're using Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, whatever. They don't know. So we're gonna do a quick demonstration of how effective a VPN can be against throttling. Uh, right now, we're gonna do a quick speed test. This is on my normal connection right now, not connected to a VPN. getting pretty slow speeds right now. I would say usually, what the heck? <laughs> this is brutal. <laughs> I'm supposed to get 15 megs a second is my usual downstream bandwidth. Okay, it's creeping up. Uh, they're giving me seven megs a second right now. Okay. I think they're really angry about this, uh, this video. Okay, so I was getting seven megs a second. We can ignore that for now. And we're gonna connect uh, to the VPN. And the VPN I'm using for this demonstration is uh, private internet access, but there's a couple of other ones you could use that are good too. Uh, but I'm actually in the middle of doing uh, my, my PIA uh, review video, so that's why we're using private internet, internet access. So we're gonna refresh the speed test now that we're connected. Okay, uh, as you can see, the IP is changed, connected to the VPN. Well, maybe you can't see because maybe I blocked it out before, but. Okay, and now we're getting 22 megs a second, where a second ago, uh, I was being throttled to about seven or eight megs a second. So <laughs> it's actually almost tripled. 
Uh, and it's not to say that your internet connection is always going to go up, but like the overall internet connection, this is sort of unusual. It really depends on the way your internet provider throttles the traffic. Uh, in this case, Time Warner uses software where it's sort of, they rely on the ability to see your traffic in order to throttle it effectively. And if you've encrypted it, it actually uh, interferes with their throttling technology a little bit. So you can get slightly higher speeds on the, on the download side. If you're looking for a VPN to stop your throttling problem, uh, there's really only two things you need to look for. You want a VPN that's fast, and you want a VPN that uses OpenVPN technology, which is a higher grade encryption and will interfere with the throttling better. Uh, that being said, most of the tier one VPNs, like the, the if you Google you know, top 15 VPNs, they're all gonna have OpenVPN available. Uh, my two favorites are IPVanish and Private Internet Access. IPVanish is about 75 bucks a year. It's the fastest VPN I've ever tested, and they have great support. It's American-based, no logs, super safe, highly recommend. Otherwise, private internet access, which you saw in the video, it's only 40 bucks a year, uh, and uh, yeah, it's $3.33 a month. Great deal. I'm gonna have the links in the description of this video, and if you enjoy this video and you think you might sign up, I would greatly appreciate if you click through the link. Cost you the same price, I get a small commission. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and best of luck. Thanks a lot, bye. Hey guys. If you're looking for more VPN reviews and articles, we've got tons of them at vpntop10.com. They're super in-depth. Check them out. Thanks.